Hey there fellow adventurers, welcome back to the channel where we explore all things Legend of Zelda. Today we're going to dive deep into one of the most iconic features of the series, the magical melodies from Ocarina of Time. In the game, our hero Link uses the legendary Ocarina of Time to cast powerful spells and to travel across Hyrule. Although players use the game controller to play these songs, have you ever wondered how tricky it would be to actually play them using a real ocarina? We'll wonder no more. In today's video, we're going to rank these legendary songs by how difficult they'd be to play on a real ocarina. That's right, we're taking all 12 iconic tunes and sorting them from the easiest to the most challenging. So if you've been yearning to master these melodies in the real world, this guide will show you where to start and how to level up your ocarina skills. Number 1. Epona's Song we start our countdown with the easiest tune in Ocarina of Time, Epona's Song. It's a simple melody of just three notes, perfect for beginners. In the game, this tune summons Epona, Link's loyal horse. It's a great first piece for any new Ocarina player. Epona's Song is our number one pick for its simplicity and charm, ideal for starting your musical quest in Hyrule. Number 2, Requiem of Spirit. At number 2 we have the Requiem of Spirit. This song has a simple rhythm and a minimal range of notes. In the game, Link uses it to travel to the desert Colossus, opening the path to the Spirit Temple. Its straightforward melody is ideal for beginners looking to expand their repertoire. Number 3, Serenade of Water. Next, at number 3 is the Serenade of Water. Known for its tranquil melody, it's easy to master due to its narrow pitch range. In Ocarina of Time, playing this melody transports Link to Lake Hylia's Triforce Pedestal, a serene and pivotal location. Its simple structure and few notes make the Serenade of Water a great next step for learning Ocarina. Tied for number 4, Song of Time and Nocturne of Shadow. Moving up our list, we find two songs that challenge beginners but reward those ready for more, the Song of Time and the Nocturne of Shadow. These tunes bring a slightly wider range of pitches into play. The Song of Time is a key to unlocking the past and the future in Hyrule, pivotal for progressing through the game's more intricate puzzles. Meanwhile, the Nocturne of Shadow ushers Link into the eerie depths of the Shadow Temple. For those who have mastered the simpler songs, these melodies provide a wonderful gateway into the more complex and emotionally resonant music of the ocarina. Number 6, Prelude of Light. Stepping up in complexity, we have the Prelude of Light, a beautifully simple melody that challenges players with its higher pitches. This song plays a crucial role in Ocarina of Time, allowing Link to teleport to the Temple of Time. Although the melody is straightforward, playing it in its original high register requires more breath control and precise fingering. For those less comfortable with high notes, a simple shift from the high D down to G makes it more accessible without losing its charm. Number 7, Zelda's Lullaby. Now, let's talk about one of the most iconic tunes in the Zelda series, Zelda's Lullaby. Known to every fan, this is the first song Link learns in the game. While the first part of the song is soothing and gentle, the second half presents a challenge with the high D note, followed by a descending scale that tests your breath control. Each descending note requires a slight decrease in air if you want to play in tune. To play this song well, you need to understand that playing higher notes on the ocarina requires more breath support, and as you come down the scale, you must gradually reduce the air. Number 8, Minuet of Forest. Next in our lineup is the Minuet of Forest, a melody that transports Link directly to the mystical Kokiri Forest. This song is not just a call to the woods, but a test of your musical adaptability. The pivotal note in this tune is the F-sharp, a testament to the 12-hole ocarina's chromatic capabilities. 
While the song may appear straightforward, the inclusion of this sharp note demands precise fingering. For those familiar with basic ocarina playing, the Minuet of Forest offers a gentle challenge, bridging the gap between simple tunes and more complex pieces. Number 9, Bolero of Fire. Heating things up, we move to the Bolero of Fire, a melody that calls forth the fiery heart of Death Mountain in Ocarina of Time. While ideally played on a double ocarina to capture its full range, skillful modifications allow it to be performed on a standard 12-hole ocarina, bringing some notes down to a more manageable level. The challenge of the Bolero of Fire lies in its wider intervals, demanding more from players in terms of finger agility and familiarity with the instrument. Number 10, Sun's Song. Next, we have the Sun's Song, a compact yet challenging melody from the Ocarina of Time that has the power to control the passage of day and night. Though brief, the Sun's Song ends with rapid, repetitive notes that test your articulation skills. To play these notes distinctly, the technique of tonguing is essential, where you use your tongue to start and separate each note clearly. While originally suited for the double ocarina, you can adapt it to your 12-hole ocarina by starting on a lower E instead of A, making it accessible yet retaining its quick-paced challenge. Number 11, Saria's Song. Up next in our musical countdown is Saria's Song, a tune that bursts with the energy and spirit of the Kokiri Forest. Known for its catchy rhythm, it's a fan favorite and a staple in the Zelda series. This tune starts with a series of quick staccato notes, requiring precise control over articulation to keep each note distinct and lively. The inclusion of a high E not only adds to its vibrancy, but also demands swift and smooth transitions to and from this challenging note. It tests your ability to navigate complex note patterns at speed, offering a fulfilling challenge to those who master it. Number 12, Song of Storms. Capping our list as the most formidable piece in Ocarina of Time, the Song of Storms is a whirlwind of musical prowess that whirls through the higher echelons of ocarina playing. Characterized by its sweeping interval leaps and extensive use of the instrument's upper range, this song challenges even seasoned musicians with its demands for precise breath control and agile fingering. And that brings us to the end of our musical journey through the enchanting melodies of The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. From the tranquil tunes like Epona's song to the complex and powerful Song of Storms, each piece offers its own unique challenges and joys. Whether you're a beginner picking up an ocarina for the first time, or you're an advanced player looking to conquer the most intricate of songs, these melodies not only connect us more deeply to the world of Hyrule, but also enhance our skills and our passion for music. I hope this ranking helps you decide where to start or what to tackle next on your ocarina. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to catch more Zelda content and music tutorials. Share your own ocarina journey in the comments below. I'd love to hear which songs you've mastered or are working on. See you next time.